How's it going today, guys? My name is Ethan, and welcome to Rapture. And shut up, Sable Control. I don't give a fuck what you're doing. We are going to get rid of... Well, not get rid of. We're going to go defeat Scorpion and Rhino. So, let's just go do it. Someone your own size, Rhino. There is no one my size, folk. Or maybe he could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. Means an egg, folk. All of likely means an egg. Yeah. So what's the end for these particular means? Freedom! True freedom! I missed that, are you kidding me? No more rhino! There we go. So distinct! Be thankful! Without you, I make less trouble for you. Oh, I'm doing it way too late. But what about our stimulating battle side chats? You are funny, Maliki. I am almost sorry to destroy your tiny face. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Never send an eight ton infant to do a man's job. Let's finish this. Oh, Scorp, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't show up? Beg him to keep up? Yes, Garga, that is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple, you two. The scorpion's probably the easier one to take out. <laughs> Dirty half dozen. Promise you, Come on, bring it. Let's go. We could just stop now, you know. I won't tell anybody. And leave your skull uncrushed? There is fun in that! Rhino's done. Time for Fist of Fury. Octavius will do if he finds out you failed! I failed? Yes, you freak show! A little force together time might
might help you boys learn to play nice. Alright, that is four members All right, down. Gary, that's four down. Just Octavius and Lee left. Something tells me they won't be as easy. They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. I'd expect nothing less from our beloved mayor. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. Pete, hey. I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sables, man. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. I know, but I might be able to get in undetected. I can sneak in, find the lab's location, and get out. If anything goes wrong, I'll call you for backup. Okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. All right. Like that's a it's a good thing to do, I guess. Oh shit. Reports of sniper. Hey MJ, what's up? You okay? I'm fine. Coming through Oscorp records. Hey, this is random, but Remember that trip we took to Staten Island with Harry? To find the best pizza in the city? Yeah. Ten hour odyssey for burnt toast with cold American cheese. How can I forget? Something about all these old Oscorp files made that day pop into my head. Harry was so excited about riding the ferry. Just made me think about how much simpler things were back then. No jobs, no super villains. We could throw away a whole day looking for bad pizza just cuz. Now it feels like if we take a nap, the world will fall apart. Yeah, this adult thing is rough. But I guess the work we do means today's kids can have their own Staten Island adventures. In safety. Kind of a circle of life thing. Circle of bad pizza. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's a good way to look at it. Thanks, Pete. Okay, MJ. Well, you just hung up on that, Jace. Let me know if you get into trouble. Thanks, Pete. Wish me luck. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Need to get into the security room to unlock it. Mayor Osborne really lives? There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe I can rile them up to create a distraction. Ugh! Every second we stay down here, we risk catching that plague! Definitely stay away from the receptionist. Been coughing up a storm. What? They have to let us back upstairs! Uh, left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. The health emergency might do it. Really? Come on, let's go talk to security. Hey, let us back upstairs! I've got a medical emergency here! Oh man, I can't breathe. Let me back upstairs. I need more. All right, this group of people. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right away. I knew it. It's all one big boys' club. Come on. That should do it. Oh, crap. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Get out here right now! Security We're room's open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. Off limits, ma'am. Need to go around. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but please remember, Sable is doing this for your safety. More like Osborne's safety. Please, everyone, please remain calm. This don't see why you guys need to be back. Hello? I know a few Sable agents who would love to meet you. I like this thing. Gotta turn him around. Control. I saw someone. Checking it out. Good boy. I'm 
sure Sable offers workman's comp. Elevator controls in the security room. Next to the Sable agent. Mary Jane Watson? Super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That did it. Norman's clearing out, and the elevator's unlocked. Time to head upstairs. Penthouse elevator. This is it. Norman and Sable, right on cue. Bye. Stupid useless button. Hmm. <sighs> Alright, that's the best part done. Norman's guards have all cleared out. If he's hiding something up here, I'm gonna find it. Warning. Fire doors engaged. Automated self-diagnostic commencing. Please oh. remain calm. What is this thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. All right. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. Norman must like spy movies. I need to find the code for that keypad. Oh, what about this? Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Hmm. MJ, Sable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Scientific journals debating the Spider-Man problem. <laughs> so weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. There has to be something around here somewhere with that number on it. It'll be here somewhere. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Well, let's just go to the. Oh, 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 hold on. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Norman could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Norman locked up Harry's room. Wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Harry said his mom used to cook all the time. You'd be surprised if Norman has ever even touched the stove. This room smells like rich people. Wonder if all this wine is from Norman's vineyard in Burgundy. <laughs> hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. Uh, hey, if you're gonna meet me there, could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big... Bon voyage day. <laughs> uh, anyway, listen, I know I don't say this enough, but thank you, Dad, you know, for doing this. 
I love you. Wow. Haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... tired. Let's hope that journal is still here. Gotta check his room. Harry's room. But it's locked. I wonder where Norman keeps the key. God, Pete and I loved coming over here to watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Miss Score. This must be the key for Harry's room. Wow, I'm just great at investigations. Norman's bathroom is bigger than my entire apartment. Now I feel sad. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Norman and Otto. Wow. They look like they used to be so close. What could have ruined a friendship like this? Probably Norman being a dickhead and something like that. I used to be so account. jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy. At least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. That must be the code to that room. Um, I, I've already read through this. Um, if you just want to read through it to get the story of what's up with Harry, go for it. Um, yeah, cool. If you guys want to pause the video, go for it. Go for it. I am saying we should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum is ready. And I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. End of discussion. Keep Team 2 on standby. I'm getting some air. Pete, Norman's cure is ready. He's headed to the lab it's at now. Can you follow? Not without alerting him. Somebody spiked Sable's coffee today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. Okay, then stay ready. I've almost got the location. Alright. Boom. There we go. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Super creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. What are these things? Oh. Prototype hand grenades? Shit. That's cool. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. Norman 
Osborne. GR-27 research log. The whole project has gone to hell. GR-27 is a cure, not a disease. But try telling that to the evening news. Somehow, they've picked up the technician's morbid nickname, Devil's Breath, and are using it to stoke hysteria. They have no idea what it's really capable of. A cure for cancer, genetic disorders, birth defects. With just a little more research, I know we could perfect it. Instead, I'll spend the next 18 months on PR mop-up. What a waste of time. Devil's Breath isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure? I almost can't believe it. Harry and Emily's medical records. GR-27 was developed to treat them. Devil's Breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. I think I looked at everything. Oh, no. Spiders. Is Norman trying to reverse engineer Peter's abilities? The labels on these cages. Bioelectrokinesis. Optical camouflage. What the hell is he trying to create? Oh, shit. It makes so much wow. sense now. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like, looks like Norman's tracking Dr. Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. Had no idea they owned so much of New York. Sable troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Then I'm looking for a no. heavily guarded Oscorp building that Dr. Michaels visits. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. That's not it. None of these patrols cross Dr. Michaels' path. Nope, that's just a Sable patrol. Commercial buildings. Oh, I see. There's more. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Wow. Yeah. So many record GR27. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Tenth and Cathedral. Isn't that... I knew it. Tenth and Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. GR27 Martin Lee incident. What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. <laughs> created Lee. I, I have to get this. What? No! Who's there? Oh, no. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, don't look behind the biggest table in the room. Yeah, totally don't Damn do that. It. We have a breach. High alert. Pete, I've got the lab location. 
and a lot more. How far away are you? Two avenues over. Say the word and I'm there. Great. Keep the motor running. Shit, that was so close too. So close, that's so annoying. That was cool. That that's a cool scene, the jump, I love that. It's all so much to take in. Harry sick? Norman and Lee and Dr. Octavius? I know. This is all my fault. No, not this song again. You are not how? alone anymore, Pete. How, how is that all this far? It doesn't make sense. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... You find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks. Partner. All right, now I have to get that anti serum and start putting things right. There no, must be oh. some way to reach Lee and Otto. Convince them to give up this crusade for revenge. They've both done so much good for the world, they can't throw their legacies away just to spite Norman. Okay, Norman's on his way to get the anti serum. Better update Yuri. I hope this is good news. It is. Oscorp just created an anti serum. There's a cure? Oh, thank God. How quickly can we get it to people? I'm on my way to find out. The lab is at 10th and Cathedral. Wait. I just got a report of a helicopter going down in that area. Oh, no. That could be Norman's helicopter. I'd send officers your way, but I don't have any. Don't worry. I'm on it. This will all be over soon. I promise. All right. That might... I think that is the phone call. That usually happens after the missions. So, I'm going to end this episode here for today, guys. And in the next one, we're going to be quickly going over here and saving Norman for some stupid reason. 
If you guys want to catch with me or see anything else going on the channel, make sure to follow me on my Twitter, which is on the screen in front of you or in the description down below. And fuck's sake. All nasty words people accuse to insult and demean me. But now, after years of me trying to warn you all, here we are. Spider-Man has literally brought a plague down upon us. Why do I blame him and not Martin Lee? I do blame Martin Lee. He deserves swift justice, but he's a lunatic terrorist. This is what they do. Whereas Spider-Man claims to be a hero. Yet, he obviously knew about the threat and didn't warn us. He either thought he'd handled it, which makes him criminally negligent, or he was in on it, which makes him a terrorist too. Well, that's fucking stupid. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. I will see you in the next episode.